Welcome to JSA TV Live. This is the live streaming news source for Data Cloud USA. And today we are coming to you live from beautiful Austin, Texas, where we're hearing from thought leaders around the tech, telecom, and data center space. I am Keely Dorian, and joining me right now, we have Stuart Lawrence, Vice President of Product Engineering with Stream Data Center. So thank you so much, and welcome, for, uh, welcome to JSA TV Live. Thank you so much. Um, great to be here. Hookham, as they say, in Austin, Texas. Um, great show so far. Uh, great panel this morning. Um, having a good time. That is really excellent to hear. And you can just definitely feel the energy. Lots of people just excited to be all in the same room together. Um, so let's dig right in and let's talk a little bit about Stream. Just for those of us who, who don't know, can you just share a little bit more about what you guys do and where you're located? Yeah, happy to. Um, so Stream Data Center is part of Stream Realty, located in Dallas, Texas. Um, we are a full slate uh, developer of data center sites. So we'll do LAN, we'll do core and shell, we'll do fully operated MEP fit out uh, facilities. Typically we work with Fortune 100, hyperscale type customers on wholesale type deals. Um, and you know, in-house engineering, uh, you know, great operations team, we, we, we work across the, the spectrum. Always a lot going on, I'm sure. A lot going on, yeah. I mean, and and we're we're been around since 1999, right? We've built over 25 data centers now. We've got a raft of facilities and campuses that are underway for our customers. Um, so, yeah, we've had our challenges with as with everybody else. It's been an incredible last couple of years, um, but we we continue to be trusted and and uh, asked to deliver. And and so far, touch wood, things are going well. Um, but very busy, absolutely. Well, let's talk about you for just a moment here, if we can. Back in May, you were named the Vice President of Product Engineering at Stream, so congratulations for that. What um, exciting things have you and your team been working on for your customers? A huge amount, right? So not only dealing with supply chain, figuring out how we can adapt certain things, uh, what we can do with our design to make it more streamlined, to be able to deliver faster, um, in budget, on time for our customers, right? Um, we've been developing uh, new uh, fan wall technology for our, for our cooling platform. We've been looking at how we uh, build on the topology that we've currently got for our electrical design, specifically for some of our hyperscale customers that re have some different re redundancy requirements. Um, so I've been, I've been extremely busy working with construction, working with design, working with our consulting engineers. Um, not a lot of sleep over the last six months, but um, it, it's been fabulous. Yeah, I'm, I'm having a thoroughly good time at uh, Stream Data Centers. Well, you know the saying, no rest for the weary. So you're just going to fall into that category, my friend. The one I know is no rest for the wicked. So, but, yeah. The wicked or the weary, can we say both? Well, you guys have also been uh, very busy on the customer front. You recently, um, Stream recently announced it was selected as a trusted data center partner by T-Systems. Can you share some of the details about that and um, why that was just a good fit for both of you? Yeah, you know, it's and it's sort of indicative of us with all of our clients, right? So, um, Stream, like I said, uh, privately held since 1999. We uh, are a trusted uh, vendor to all of our customers, and that's because we are very candid. Uh, we never get over our skis. We try to honestly portray exactly uh, what we have coming, and we generally deliver what we what we set out to promise, right? So, um, a lot of the time, the things that we bring to the table for our customers are just very, very good clarity in supply chain and and what's going on and how we're going to deliver. And so they trust us. There's a, there's a very high depth of trust and, um, and we, we continue to do that. So, um, you know, coupled with, I think, a very good understanding of, of the facilities in general, electrical topologies, the mechanical side of the equation, um, you know, we, we can deliver the goods uh, when it comes to that side of the house. And, and speaking of that trust, I mean, you really do have a, a very good industry reputation. I read a stat, that I've got it right here. Um, it's something like 80% of your customer base is made up of Fortune 500 companies. It, do you believe it's because of that level of trust that you have established with them? Yeah, I mean, you get found out very, very quickly by those folks, right, if you can't uh, deliver what you've promised. And I think um, that, that shows, you know, in the, in the over 20 what's it, 23 years now, Stream has been operating. We've never ever been sued. We've never had a client terminate early on a contract. We've never had someone leave and sue the company. So um, very reliable, very honest and steadfast. Uh, and so, I mean, I think that just 
shows, uh, most of our clients would like us to deliver more capacity, right? So, but we're not going to get over our skis. We're going to stay stay to the course, uh, and we, we will grow. Um, and we've been doing that tremendously, but uh, without getting outside of our comfort zone, I think. Yeah, absolutely. And so, um, any sneak peeks of what you can give us? What's to come for in 2023 for Stream? You know, um, so. Every, we're already ordering for 2024, actually. Um, most of our infrastructure for 2023 has been ordered and paid for a lot of it, and it's on its way. Um, and uh, we've got a huge amount of capacity and some new geographies that are coming out will be announced fairly shortly. One of them got leaked actually a, a few months ago, but um, no, we'll continue to build on the, the sites, campuses we have. Um, we have, a, like I said earlier, we've been working pretty hard on a cooling platform in the background that gives our customers a lot more flexibility and freedom uh, and, and allows us to construct in a, a, a better way. Um, so there's some of that coming. Just, you know, small improvements along the way, make sure that we iterate correctly and, um, and, and keep selling tight. So where can people go now that you've given us these um, these teasers? How can we follow you and where can we go for more information? Yeah, streamdatacenters.com I think is a good place to start. Uh, I think you know a lot of the, the folks that are in uh, site assessments and looking for land and um, stuff know us pretty well. Um, but for anyone who doesn't, you know, the usual social media outlets, we're here and um, come and talk to us. Yeah, we're... Um, we're, we we might not have a lot to sell you. A lot of our customers have taken it all, but um, we're always open to developing. We'll we'll develop and sell you a piece of land. We'll do a shell. We don't have to be tied tied to a whole, you know, the whole uh, facility, as it were. Well, thank you so much for stopping by. Um, I hope that you're having a great conference and that you enjoy the rest of it. So thank you very much for joining us here on JSA TV, and thank you for joining us as well. And as always, happy networking. <laughs>